I have another flashlight review for you today. It is the Lumen Top Tool, a tiny high value flashlight that has some unique features. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this, keep watching. All right, a couple of things just before we get started. First, I would like to thank the company flashlight to go for sending me the Lumen Top tool so that I could share it with you. Now, the short backstory is, and the reason I have this light for testing is two things. One was a number of viewers were asking for some simple flashlights, things that wouldn't break the bank, things that were simple in their operation, and the other requirement was run on AA batteries. Well, I think this will fit all of those requirements. So why not? Let's go down to the tabletop. We'll go over the key features, the physical and performance specifications, as well as the operation. And then of course, we'll do some demonstrations. All right, just before we take a closer look at the Lumen Top tool, I thought I'd share what else it came with. The box that it arrived in, the manual and warranty information, and it does have a five year warranty, which is kind of nice. Now it came with this battery and it is a 920 milliamp lithium ion battery, rechargeable with a type C USB type C charging cable. And the port is right on the battery itself, not on the flashlight. We'll talk more about that battery and a few options in a few moments. Now here's something interesting. It came with a spare tail cap. We'll talk more about it, but you can see there are two tail caps. This tail cap has a built-in battery. I'll put it on and show you how it works, where the one installed on the flashlight has a tail switch. And so it can be operated in one of two ways. You can use, either use it with the tail cap and tail switch to click the light on and off and go through the lumen settings, or you can replace it with the magnetic tail cap and you can use the forward part, the basal, to turn and operate the flashlight. Two different modes of turning the light on and off and going through the settings. I'll talk more about that in a moment. The other thing it came with is a lanyard, pair of spare O-rings, and a diffuser cap. All right, let's bring the flashlight back in. Now I am going to have to install the battery, so let's do that now. All right, so the battery's in. What I want to do now is just go through the physical specifications for the light. So the overall length is 3.52 inches, which is 89.5 millimeters. That, oop, the diameter at this end is 0.73 of an inch or 18.5 millimeters. The weight with a battery installed, the battery I just put in it, I measured 1.8 ounces, which is 51 grams. It has, for such a small light, an amazing waterproof rating of IP68 and an impact rating of 1.5 meters. Now, I think this is probably a good time to talk about the batteries for this flashlight. So as you saw me install, it is a 960 milliamp hour lithium ion rechargeable battery with the charging port USB type C charging port built right into the battery. But there are some options out there. You can use a regular AA alkaline battery and uh, I have my thoughts on these. I've shared another video. You know, they're great. They're everywhere. They're not expensive. They work well. That's the type of thing. The only downside to a regular alkaline battery is of course, once it's done, it's done. You got to throw it away. It's not a great investment in terms of your money, even though they're not expensive, it's still not a great investment. And of course, environmentally, they're not the best thing either. An option to that would be a rechargeable battery. This is a nickel metal hydride battery that I have reviewed this and the charger with it. It's actually a really good battery, 2800 or 200, yeah, 2800 milliamp hours. And it replaces the alkaline battery and you get upwards of close to, well, between 700 and, and 1000 recharge cycles. So a little bit more of an investment to purchase them right up front, but it just, in the long term, the return on investment is much greater on these batteries than it is on the alkaline. And you don't throw them away, at least not for the 1000 recycle charges. The other option is a high powered battery known as a 14 500. And this is a tw this is just an example, the generic battery, 2300 milliamp hour lithium ion 14500 battery. So it is actually considerably more powerful than a double A. It's a 3.7 volt battery. So you're going to get much greater performance out of this in terms of lumens. But uh, well, okay, so they're not all that common. 
you pay a little bit more for them. You do have to recharge them. But if you really want to get the max lumens, this is the type of battery you're going to have to use in your flashlight. I just want to show you that for an option. I don't use these very often because I prefer to use the AA rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries. And the reason I'm showing you those batteries right now is because we're going to talk about the performance specifications. And I'm going to break it into two categories. What you can expect from this flashlight with a 14500 lithium ion and what you can expect with a, either an alkaline or a nickel metal hydride. They provide pretty much the same performance. So I'll do first for the 14500 and then I'll give you the specs for the other. So it has a low, on, this is again for the 14500 battery. I'll just bring the purple one back out so they remind everybody which one I'm talking about. The 14500 battery, you can have a low of 16 lumens, which will last 37 hours. You can have a medium of 85 lumens, which lasts 6 hours and 9 minutes. You can have a high of 360 lumens, lasting for 79 minutes. And you can have a turbo of 650 lumens, lasting 33 minutes. So, turbo of 650 lumens for a tiny flashlight like, like, like this is actually quite powerful, more than you probably would would consider using a small light like this for. Nice to know you can do that, but uh, how often you're going to use it like that because it really does shorten the battery life down. Now, if I switched over to the nickel metal hydride, or even the battery that I put in, which was the regular lithium ion rated at uh, the same voltage as either of these two batteries, then it's a different story. Your low is only 3.7 lumens, so one third approximately of the more powerful battery, but then again, it'll last for 60 hours. It has a medium of 28 lumens, which will last 11 hours and 50 minutes. It has a high of 140 lumens, lasting 2 hours, 33 minutes minutes and it has a turbo of 270 lumens lasting for 43 minutes. So you can see the higher it goes, the run times don't last as long. Of course that makes sense with the higher lumens. So on turbo you're getting not quite half of the rated lumens you would with the 14500, but you get 10 more minutes of runtime. So it's again, choices that you can make for yourself. Oh, I realize also there's one more thing that I forgot to mention that comes with this. And that of course is, is this pocket clip right here. Nice little pocket clip, exactly what you want in a tiny little flashlight like this works to hold it in your shirt pocket, pants pocket, jacket pocket, wherever else you need it to uh, go. All right, let's go over the operation of the Lumen Top tool. And again, very, very simple. So right now I have the tail clicky switch installed on it. And uh, yeah, you just turn it on. That's all there is to it. Now, if you want to change Lumen settings, it's just a half press and you will work your way through. There's the lowest, I think, working to medium, high, and back down again. So low, medium, high, turbo and back off again. Now, there is a strobe on this. The strobe is, I don't know, just a tiny bit tricky to get to. Start with the light on and then half tap it six times rapidly. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. I got it that time. Sometimes I don't get it because I don't count correctly. But so you can get to a strobe with this, but just by tapping through six times. All right, simple operation, right? All right, let's remove the clicky tail cap and put the magnetic base tail cap on it. Magnetic base, but also flat at the same time. And you can see the moment that I turn, uh, screwed it down completely, the light came on. If I want to go through the different levels, I actually use the basal, the forward part of the light, to uh, rotate it, just little half quarter ro turns to rotate it. And each time I do, it'll work its way through the different lumen settings. Now. You can see six times and I come back to strobe. Now, okay, here's what I wanna show you about this. Let's work it with the diffuser. Now, I don't know how well this is gonna show up here. I will do this again during the demonstration part, but if I turn that on and set it down, basically, now that's bright. Let's turn it down a little bit. There we go. All right, that's the lower setting. It's still nice. It's just a nice little candle that you can set on your table if you need to work immediately around you. And at that higher lumen setting, you actually get a considerable amount of light. It's actually almost too bright to look at. One small feature here is if I turn it off now, 
yeah, I think it is showing up in the camera. It has that luminescence that picks up the from the light, so it it uh, does glow green, not for very long, but just a little bit of time. I suppose that's kind of nice if you were to drop it or turn it off and you want needed to find it again. There is a little bit of light there, but uh, yeah, so it's a nice little feature to have on this flashlight. All right, just before we go outside and do some demonstrations with this light, there is just one more feature I want to bring to your attention. It, in my opinion, it's a bit of a con for the light, but it has an easy workaround. You just have to be aware of it. And that is when the tail cap is on, there is a small red light illuminated through the base of the tail cap. I really don't think that's going to show up. You may be able to see the slight red glow. I can see looking at it, but I'm not sure if it's showing up on the camera or not. Here's the thing. Over time, that has parasitic drain. So when I first got this light and I started uh, working with it and doing some testing, and then I had to put it aside for other projects before I could get to this recording of it, I found that it, that parasitic drain almost completely drained the battery inside. And I had to recharge the battery before I could do this video. The workaround for this is very simple. Either quarter turn the the a tail cap and disconnect the battery that way or you can do the same thing at the other end quarter turn the basal and it will disconnect the battery you just have to remember when you go to use it or put it in your pocket or whatever that you tighten it back up again and then it's functional one more time all right i think that's all everything i want to show you before we go outside let's do some demonstrations doing some nighttime testing of the lumen top tool small little pocket light Actually, surprisingly, more light here at my feet than I expected on low. All right, let's just ramp it up a little bit. Medium. High. And that's the top level lumen. You know, for such a small little light, this is providing much more illumination, as I said, than I expected. So we do have a central hotspot and flood, but they merge together pretty well. You can barely see the distinction. And then that garage in the distance is about 75 feet away. Actually very impressed for this tiny little light. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few more comments for the Lumen Top tool. Let's talk about the things I really like about it. Well, I think first off, the value. I mean, $27 without a battery, $29 with a battery, and that is the lithium ion rechargeable battery that came in this. I think it's worth it to spend that little extra to get the battery put inside of it. I really like the compact size. I really like the simplicity of the operation. I really like the output and the options that it provides that in terms of outputs for this light. And of course, I really like the fact that I can use a wide range of batteries that are all in the double A size, including alkaline nickel metal hydride, the 14500 lithium ion, or the lithium ion that came with this flashlight. It just provides some simplicity and some versatility as well. I do like the tail cap switch on this. I I mean, that's probably the way I'm probably going to use it most often. And yes, you can still use the diffuser on this if you want to with the tail cap. You don't have to switch it out for the medic to magnetic base on it. But I know some people will like to have that magnetic base, one, for attaching it somewhere that you need a work light. I think this would actually work really well if you were working in some kind of a confined area and you had a metal surface and you needed to attach it to something, maybe uh, working on your car at night, uh, then you can get quite a bit of light from this while it's hooked to the hood or the engine bonnet of the car. Yeah, I think there is some benefit in it, but obviously for me, if I'm just carrying this in my pocket because I need a tiny flashlight, probably gonna go with the tail cap switch. Again, it's nice to have that versatility. There's not much to dislike about this light, about the only thing I'm gonna say is that with the battery or with the tail cap switch on the clicky one, that you do have that parasitic drain. And as a result, over time, it will start to draw on the battery significantly. So if you're not gonna be carrying this on a regular basis, it's well worth your while to give it the twist to disengage the battery so that it doesn't drain. Again, you just have to remember to twist it back tight again before you start using it. Otherwise, you'll wonder what happened. Did I drain the battery somehow? So just a small thing. All right, that's everything I have that I can share with you for the Lumentop tool. I'll put all the specifications that I have as well as the links to where you can purchase this from flashlight to go in the video description. If you have any comments or questions about this light, please put them in the comments section. All right, until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.